Hello all you beautiful friendlies. How you doing today? My name is Carolyn and this is my life living in an RV and welcome back. Do you remember a few weeks ago when I didn't have a video for you? Like I think it was a Thursday video because I was off grid. I found a lovely beautiful spot in the Dixie National Forest. I thought it was Pixie <laughs> but it was Dixie and uh in the national forest and I didn't have a cell signal and so I decided you know what I'm just gonna take a little break so that's the video I have for you today the last video the last travel video showed you kind of me getting there and today is kind of the first few days of, of me just kind of hanging out without an internet signal and just kind of relaxing a lot of you have also been asking me to show you how I'm training Sadie so there's a lot of training Sadie a lot of spending time with Sadie in this video also I'm not like there's a lot of quiet in this video I think that I said this did I say this in the last video no I said it in uh, I did a, a thank you video to um, a lot of the fan club and patrons and uh, members and knowing that I was going to thank you in tonight's video that video on Thursday boy uh, I, I, I had a, a little bit of a sleepless night before I shot it I almost didn't shoot it in case you missed it check it out here it's about my reasons for not buying property right now and it has everything to do with who is in the White House right now you know it's always a I don't want to say a risk um, it, it's always I have to put a lot of thought into talking about politics in my videos because I know I'm gonna get a lot of backlash and I was actually extremely pleasantly surprised not only did I get not get a lot of uh, hate <laughs> like I often do uh, I just couldn't believe all the support I got it's so refreshing to know that you're not alone no matter what you're going through no matter what you've experienced no matter what you're thinking so I want to thank each and every one of you those who agree with me and those who don't uh, for the support and the kindness and the respect of just you know being a human being with an opinion and that you know just because I have a platform showing my life in an RV and that that doesn't mean I can't express my opinion and a lot of you agreed with me on that I did lose some subscribers I actually lost quite a few subscribers but for the first time and maybe because I asked the number of subscribers that I gained was more than the more than the subscribers that I lost and that's not usually the case when I do political videos so I think asking you to subscribe <laughs> explaining to you that because I spoke my mind I was gonna lose subscribers really helped so I'm seeing my numbers continue to rise so thank you so much everybody for that I really appreciate it and stay tuned I got a lot of encouragement so uh, I don't know yeah stay tuned stay tuned there's gonna be more that's all I have to say but today's video is some quiet some solitude as I was saying I know a lot of people need to just get away from the news me too you know I mean especially speaking my mind I then go down a rabbit hole of comments and stuff like that and and we all just need to take a break every once in a while and so that's what today's video is peace quiet this 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 is what matters right this this really puts things in perspective and stay tuned because I have a video coming up um, when I get to my videos about being here that um, I've had some conversations with nature lately <laughs> that I think you're gonna be interested in so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already one more thing too before I get into today's video I do tend to get more political I don't know why on Facebook so if you want to be a little bit more involved in in my my conversations and my posts about politics feel free to join me on Facebook if you are already following me on Facebook and you don't want to hear politics you might want to unfollow me um, all right so with that said I'm gonna get into today's video with some training of my beautiful dog Sadie and also some um, beautiful scenery and quiet and solitude enjoy
I said leave it. Good girl. Lay down. Good girl. Stay. Good girl. Uh uh. Stay. Good girl. Stand up. Good girl. Leave it. Lay down. Lay down. Good girl. Stand up. Good girl. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. Jump. Good girl. Off. Good girl. Jump. Good girl. Off. Yes, what a good girl. Sit. Good girl. Shake. Shake. Good girl. Good girl. Good shake. <laughs> good girl. Thank you. Thank you. Right hand. Yes. Yes. Good girl. Leave it alone. Hey, leave it alone. Good girl. Left hand. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. You're such a good girl. Speak. Uh -uh. Big speak. Big speak. Good girl. That's good enough. Down to two. Good girl. Sadie, look at me. Stay. One. Two, three, four. Good girl. <laughs> Very good girl. All right, we'll do the rest outside. Want to do the rest outside? So this is our morning routine. She goes outside, goes to the bathroom, runs around a little bit. Sometimes we play for a while. She seemed really hungry this morning, so um, she was really responsive to coming in when I called her. And So I started uh, her training before Sometimes we'll play for a while and then go for a walk and then do her training or sometimes we'll just play for a while and then do her training but uh, she already went out so I uh, feed her handfuls of food not one kibble at a time but handfuls of food and um, we have two major feeding sessions per day I measure out her food and we do uh, you know I train her throughout the day as as life comes up and opportunities to train her come up but I measure out her food to make sure she's not getting too much food and then I break it down to she gets about three cups a day one cup in the morning for training one cup at night but usually at night these days she's getting a kong and a bone so i fill the i fill the kong with kibble and then i fill it up with water and put it in the freezer so that it's frozen so that it takes her a while to eat it and i stuff one end right now i'm using oatmeal sometimes i use sweet potato sometimes i use canned dog food so i stuff the end and i do the same on the bone stuff the end put it in the freezer to freeze it and then once the end is frozen then i put the kibble in and I fill it with water so that it's frozen and it takes her a while to eat it. And then a little bit of training. And then the other cup is what we use for training throughout the day, along with her very special treats for teaching her how to come and listen in, in real life situations. So that's our morning routine. What a good girl. What a good girl. What a good girl. Sit. Stay. Oh, you didn't stay. I know, me setting something down was too much, huh? Okay. Stay. Oh, what? Wow, you're jumpy today. Good girl, come. Good girl. Good girl. Is it because I have salmon bites? Is it because I have freeze-dried salmon? Oh, yeah, that's good stuff, huh? It is good stuff, huh? All right, sit. Good girl, lay down. Good girl. Stand up. Yes, good girl. Good girl. It's all about keeping you mentally stimulated, huh? No, leave it. Come. Good girl. 
Lay down. Down. Good girl. Stay. Leave it. Leave it. Good. Yes. Very good. Good girl. <laughs> You're such a good girl. Sadie, look at me. Good girl. Stand up. Yes. What a good girl. What a good girl. What do you want to do for it? Count to two. Something's distracting you. What is it? Count to two. Good girl. Good girl. You're such a good girl. Look at this. She is just, you are amazing. You're amazing. Good girl. Good girl. What a good girl. What a good girl. You're such a good girl. Aren't you just such a good girl? Aren't you just such a good girl? Sadie girl. Look at, come on. Come on, Sadie girl. Come on, Sadie girl. Come on, Sadie girl. Come on, this way, Sadie girl. Come on. Hi girl! We're still working on the whistle training and I want to make sure it's something super special so besides extra special treats which I didn't have enough of in my pocket not playing kibble um, usually she gets her favorite toy which is the cat toy on a the thing on a stick When we're in camp, that's how I trained her. I trained her that that toy equals whistle. Good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. Drop it, good girl, sit. Stay. Uh -uh. Sit. Good girl. Stay. Come get it. Get it, 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 get it. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. Jump. Good girl. Jump! Jump! Good girl! <laughs> Ready for some water? Ready for some water? You good? <laughs> this is the bone she's been finding. Hi, yeah, you find that and then you carry it for a little ways and then you drop it. It never makes it fully into camp.
Can you bring it? There's stuff in there. There's stuff in there. <laughs> you come sit on my lap. Come on. Come Okay, now we're at the part of the video where I feel like I need to explain myself again. So a lot of you have uh, expressed concern that I let Sadie run around with her leash on. And I know it's a risk and I'm going to explain to you why I'm, I have chosen to do that. So it's very extremely critically important living the way I live that she's got excellent recall and that she also learns how to have some freedom but it's not good for a puppy to have too much freedom so I have to balance training her to be excellent at learning how to be with me and be around me and live in different places every couple of weeks and live in the forest and live in the desert and to be able to feel tethered to me and so I have decided that while I'm teaching her to have some freedom and this is just a couple of weeks so what you're seeing is she's already not doing that anymore this video was a few weeks ago she's already not doing she's already running free leashless but the reason I was doing it at the time is because what I was doing is allowing her to have some freedom but that leash is not a hundred percent freedom that leash is a reminder that she's tethered that she does not have complete freedom taking that leash off her collar and letting her run around is like Waha, I'm free where that leash is is some kind of a reminder that she's tethered to me is it a risk yeah it is a little bit of a risk but this is what I how I'm reasoning it um, when she's outside the rig I tether her to the rig on a long lead I have seen her chase things on that lead and like really worried that she hurt her neck I mean so there's no guarantee there's she's actually pulled and and uh, yes she has a harness and I put her harness on often I'm I'm not perfect I don't put it on her all the time but uh, so there have been times that she has pulled on the leash on her neck. I have never seen her do that running around in the, in the wild. It, she's done it more tethered to her lead than she ever does running around running loose. For one thing, she's a smart dog. The other reason I kept her tethered to the leash is because I did feel that if she did go wild and crazy and forget about me she might get tangled up in a bush because she's a hunter she 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 twirls her, and that's really what has happened she twirls around bushes trying to catch mice and other lizards and things like that and uh, so my other thought was that she'll get herself tangled up and she won't get lost i'll be able to find her so you know what it's a risk everything in life is a risk if i didn't want risk i'd be sitting at home watching tv eating bonbons never leaving the house but um there is a risk to everything that i do and i think that for me i have to weigh risk and freedom and 
that's the choice that I made. So, like I said, she never, ever, ever got tangled up with her leash on while she was running free and it kept her tethered to me. And literally, it probably was only two or three weeks that she got to run free with the leash on. Um, I mean, I, I'm not going to sit here and, and go into long, explana or long explanations or um, descriptions of how I trained her, but it went from training her how to come tethered tied on a leash to letting her have a little bit of freedom with the leash still attached to her and training her recall when her recall became very good then she was able to graduate to running around without the leash attached and that's where she's at now it literally took two or three weeks and she did not get hurt so there you have it lady Come on, good girl. Point zero miles in twenty seven minutes three. Come on, big girl. Somebody's going to be tired. Looks like we're going to have a five mile hike. Our first one together. First one I've done in a long time because of my mystery illness. She is doing so good. She's, since we've gotten to the forest, I don't know if it's the forest, she comes on command every time, even when she's chasing a squirrel or starting to go after a truck, which is scary. Oh, did I just see somebody? Oh. <sighs> she's amazing, amazing. She's my perfect dog. Hi, huh, little girl. It was meant to be. You're brilliant. You're so smart. And it only took one time getting really mad at her when she jumped out of the rig and ran away. And when I chased her, she ran away from me. And when I did get her, I got very angry. <laughs> and uh, that was enough. She's, we, she, we are so bonded. We have a bond that I've never had Probably JT, but I didn't know as much about training then as I do now. Um, and Capone, we got too late. We were like his fourth home, so he wasn't able, I think, to bond the way... I mean, yeah, I mean, he, he loved me and he bonded with me, but not like her. You know, he would run off and get lost. Um, so far, I mean, she's only a puppy, and I know that tomorrow she could totally stop doing... Everything she's doing today, that's what puppies do. Um, but she seems to, a lot of people told me girl dogs are way different than boy dogs, that they don't, they don't wander as much, that she, the, that she will be more of a Velcro dog. And uh, she constantly looks up to make sure she can still see me. That's a good sign. That's one thing Capone never did. If he saw something, he just went. Forgot about me. Forgot about food, forgot about water, forgot about our house. <laughs> he just, whatever. It was all about chasing. She seems to, no matter what she's doing, be in tune with me, at least so far. Hopefully, if 
I keep working with her, it'll stay like this. This is awesome. What'd you see? What you chasing up the tree? Came back from a walk. <laughs> Can you believe it? And today I'm gonna to teach her a new trick that I just saw on a video last night from McCann's training. It just came up in my suggested video, so I uh, uh, watched it and, uh, for some, ah, come on, no, no, no. And the reason I keep teaching her new tricks is not because I want a dog that does tricks necessarily, but because it keeps her mentally stimulated. She's a very active dog, she's highly intelligent, and the more tricks I can train her, the more it challenges her mentally, the more she stays um, just challenged and still hopefully uh, stays out of trouble. So physical and mental exercise are really important. And today I'm going to teach her how to spin. Come here. She's never done this before. First, I need you to stand up. Good. Uh, nope. Come on. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> okay. Uh uh. Okay. There we go. There we go. Yes! <laughs> yes! Good girl. Right now, I just want her to get, want to get her to do it. And I reward her every time she does it, and then we'll put a command to it. Sadie, look at me. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Up here. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Stand up. Good girl. And I'm gonna wait until she's really comfortable before I put a word to it. Until she's doing it. See, she's still not doing it easily. That's probably my fault. There we go. There we go. The trick is to, they said, to hold the treat at her nose level so she doesn't sit down. Good girl. Yeah, see, I keep holding it too high. She wants to sit down. Actually, maybe if I stood up, it would be easier. Oh, yeah, that's a lot easier. Good girl. Good girl, yes. Good girl. Twirl. Good girl. Now I'm going to start putting the word to it. Twirl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Look at me, Sadie. Good girl. Uh, stand up. Good girl. Twirl. Yes, very nice. Good girl. Twirl. Good girl. Twirl. Good girl. Twirl. Good girl. Twirl. Yes. Twirl. Yes. Come here. Twirl. Yes. Good girl. Twirl. 
Nope. Okay. Twirl. There you go. Good girl. Alright, so it's gonna take a few more sessions, but that's okay. Good start. Really good start. Got her twirling. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today a little bit off grid in Utah. If you did, show me some love, give me thumbs up, be sure to subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate you all so much for being here, and I'll see you next time. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. I'll see you soon.